Hey friends, how's it going? Today we are going to move some old hasta plants that are planted around a cherry tree because we are going to cut the cherry tree down because we are building a deck. So I thought I could dig the hastas up. We got an air conditioner and Scott kind of landscaped it a little bit. So I thought I would dig up the hastas that are around the base of the cherry tree and put them over by the air conditioning unit where Scott landscaped. So let's grab some supplies and we'll get to transplanting. All right, I got my gloves. I got some fertilizer. I'm gonna grab the shovel. Well, hi, buddy. Hi, baby. How are you? Big stretches. Hi, mama. All right, let's get this stuff in. Get the wheelbarrow. So on the back side of the house, that brown board going across is where the deck is going to be. And it is going to come out, I think, 22 feet. So this cherry tree right here is the cherry tree that we are going to be cutting down and planted underneath it are a bunch of hostas that the previous owner had planted here. So I thought I would dig them up and we could transplant them to the other side of the house where, whoops, where the air conditioner is and do a little bit of landscaping over there. I don't know what the names of these hostas are. I would assume that they are pretty um, common. There's a variegated green and white. Um, there's a variegated green and white over there. A solid green and then a bigger one on the corner here. So I thought we would dig those out and move them over to the air conditioning spot. Hopefully they come out fairly easy. Um, I'm assuming that they've been in here for a while. This cherry tree is pretty old looking. So let's see if we can get them out. I'm just going to go down and make a circle all the way around. And hopefully I will be able to get all of the roots out in one piece. If I don't get them all out in one piece, then I mean, these the size of these are so big, they probably need to be separated anyway. So I'm not going to be heartbroken if if they don't come out in one solid clump, that'll be okay. I'm kind of trampling on this. I think I think it's sedum that is planted in here with it. The ground is fairly soft, so let's see how I did. I think that's a full circle. Seems to be pretty loose. Oh, I think I did it. I got it out in one chunk. I think I will separate it though because this is pretty big. Like seeing when I put it on the ground, little pieces are coming out. So I think I will separate it. I'm not going to force it, but if it comes apart, then I will plant it as a separate plant. So I'm just going to keep digging up hostas and loading up the wheelbarrow, and then I will take you over to the other side of the house and we will transplant them. So when I picked the hosta up to pull out some um, weeds like I'm just 
going through and pulling out like any grasses or anything like that, it kind of fell apart. So I have one, two, three, four, five, now five hostas from that one big hosta that I dug out. So hooray. Okay, on the other side of the tree, there is another green and white one. So I think I am going to dig that one out too and try and keep keep them together so it's kind of symmetrical over there. Um, this is a tiny one. So I think I'm going to, if I can, get over here on this side of the tree and dig this one out. It's kind of on a slant from the house. So I don't think this one's gonna come out in one piece either. But we'll see. On this hill it's not the easiest thing to do. Oh that's a big one. I don't think it's gonna come out in one piece though. So I think I might have to separate this one too. Yep. I'm just kind of pulling and lifting. And look at this sucker. Look at how big it is. So I'm going to keep doing that and we're going to have a bunch of hostas to plant. that was on the other side of the tree. So this will be plenty for that area that I want to plant over by the air conditioner. So I'm gonna get these in the ground tonight. And I think the other two that are in here, I think there's two, oh no, three, one, two, three. So I will leave those in here tonight and dig them up when I have a spot to put them. So. Let's go on over to the other side of the house and let's get to planting. So we are on the, well, kind of on the same side of the house because the tree that I took them from is right there. So the back side corner, and then we are on the west side of the house. So I want to put some right there by the deck and then I want to put some over there by the, what is that, the vent pipe for the heating and cooling and then the sub pump. So let's get these babies planted. So I think what I'm going to do first is maybe take them out of the wheelbarrow and kind of set them in place so I can judge like size, um, how tall they are and then kind of give it a visual to see if I like it or not, and then stick them in the ground. I think that's a good plan. So let's do that. Okay, let's start over by the deck first. So let's, I think if I take sprigs from the same plant, they'll be like the same height. So let's, one there. And I dug out some bee balm and I stuffed it in the corner here so it's a little bit wilted but I thought that would be pretty too it would give it some color maybe um, I guess it doesn't it won't really matter if like how tall they are if they're from the same plant and I kind of space them closer together is 
that makes sense. Okay, maybe one more. It's looking kind of full. Maybe a smaller one, just to give it some room to grow. And then move this one over like that. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's try and stand this one up so I can give you a visual. I don't know if it's gonna, here. Let's see if I can kind of gently coax it to stay up. Okay, that might work. All right, let me bring you closer. So, kind of like that. What do you think? I think three will work, right? Okay. Perfect. Let's get them in the ground. Okay, what did I do with my shovel? Okay, I left my shovel over by the tree, so I have to go get it. Hang on. Okay. I got the shovel, and while I was over there, I figured I may as well grab a bucket of water to water them right away because I don't have the hose hooked up on this side of the house yet, so I figured it couldn't hurt. All right, let's get these puppies planted. <laughs> she is all planted under the deck with the landscaping stones now all I have to do is give him a little drink of water and then we can do the other side of the air conditioner give him a little drink because the rain will keep this bed watered there all right let's plant some more I think on this side of the air conditioner, I can do two and two side by side. And I think I could probably get four rows in here. So if I went like this, it would still give the air vent enough flow for air. And then I would also be able to that one's kind of big. So let's use okay. and then I have one kind of big one that I can stick in the front. all the rage and people thought that you had to put it down in double layers to keep the weeds out well that is what this lady did when she planted all of her hydrangeas and ferns and stuff over here so every single time I dig my shovel into the dirt I am hitting that landscape fabric and I'm trying to tear through it the best I can but it isn't working out so well for me Once I break through it though, I can go a little bit deeper, but it's just getting that initial break. All right, there we go. There we got it. All right. Diet. 
sprinkle that. And I'm just using the Biotone Plant Starter Amazon. And who knows how long they've been down in that little gully there by the cherry tree, but I'm sure that they would love some fertilizer to get a good, fresh, new life, you know? Plus, I kind of tore their roots apart. So every little, bit, every little bit of help that I can give them, I'm gonna give them in their new home. I hope they like it over here. Scott put this mulch on really, really thick. No weeds are getting through these puppies. I'll tell you that. And this is the mulch we brought over from the other homestead. So I am so happy that I brought it over here, or Scott brought it over here for us to use in our new garden beds. Oh, broke through right away on that one. Awesome. Gotta love it when you get it on the first try. Right? Come on, little buddy. Let's get you in your new, your new home. There we go. And then when we get done planting them, I'll give them a good drink of water and they should make it through the summer. Well, friend, I got it done. I got them all planted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten has to plants over on the other side of the house in the landscaping by the air conditioner. So that makes you so happy. One project done. So Thanks for hanging out with me tonight and watching me plant my hostas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.